Good afternoon, Bears. I'm your host, Gabby Lopez, and this is Bear News Monday. Today, we'll be covering some UNC updates and April news. Let's get into it. Ever wonder what UNC is doing to grow? In 2019, the university developed a 10-year strategic plan that will help identify new opportunities, key actions, and tactics that will help students' academic success and personal growth. There is currently a town hall discussion on priorities for the next phase on the plan. If you weren't able to join today, don't worry. There will be another meeting tomorrow, April 16th, from 10 to 11.30 a.m. on Zoom. There should be an email with the register link from the Office of the President in your bear mail inbox. This past weekend, the UNC community and student athletes participated in the Women's Annual Walk. This year, the Department of Athletics celebrated the 16th anniversary of the Women's Walk. Female student athletes expressed their thoughts on the event. Although it was a Women's Walk, male athletes also joined the walk to show support of UNC's female athletes. More details on the event coming up this Friday. Stay tuned. Coming up, we have Sam with the weather. Take it away, Sam. Thanks, Gabby. Well, it get, might get a little cold this week or later this week, but let's enjoy the warmth while it lasts, taking a look at our highs for the day in northern Colorado. Our high in Greeley, it is 76 degrees and mainly 70s across the front range for n northern Colorado. But looking towards tomorrow, actually, we have a chance to wake up to get some morning showers coming our way. So please grab an umbrella as you walk out the door, wear a raincoat because these showers are expected to move into the Greeley area around 9 a.m. into around 9, 10 a.m. into in your Tuesday morning. And last should, and should last around lunchtime, but Looking towards Thursday morning, actually, uh, we might have a slight chance to get a dusting of snow. Just It's just a dusting, so don't worry. But that should clear on out for Thursday and then have a cloudy Friday. But actually looking towards Friday night, we do have a chance to get a few inches of snow showers coming our way. So, well, of course, I'll have more on that on your Friday show. but. If we take a look at the seven day forecast as we get through these technical difficulties currently, uh, but taking a look at our seven day forecast, we got a little bit of everything this week. When well, you want sunshine, boom, today. You want some rain, come tomorrow. You want a little bit of snow, I got that Thursday morning and Friday. And then we're back to sunshine getting into next week's, but taking a drop in temperatures. So enjoy this warm weather while it lasts. We'll head back to the desk with Gabby. Goodness, it looks like it's going to be cold later in the week. Uh, not my favorite, but oh well. Last Friday, the House of Representatives passed a bill to be reauthorize a spy program that was key to national security. Section 702 of the bill allows the U.S. government to listen into communications from non-U.S. citizens outside the country without a warrant. There was some back and forth between both parties, the White House, and intelligence officials. Former President Donald Trump sent out a message earlier this week with the phrase, kill FISA, as a response to the bill being passed. Once the House passed the bill, Republican Florida Representative Anna Paulina Luna requested a vote to reconsider. Once the motion is introduced, the Senate won't be able to view the bill. They have four days to reauthorize the bill before the FISA program expires. The virtual pop star Hatsune Miku concert tour has faced backlash and fans are demanding refunds. The virtual pop star appeared on a large flat screen TV instead of a famous hologram to perform her set. The tour kicked off in Vancouver, Canada, but was instantly met with criticism as fans went on social media to express their disappointment over the underwhelming concert experience. A change or, or petition was set up as people demanded full refunds as the website did not state how the virtual pop singer would appear on stage. This event is heading to Denver on April 22nd, so those who bought tickets should be aware of the concert's backlash. That about covers it for today, Bears. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Gabby Lopez with Bear News, and we'll see you this Friday. Have a wonderful day.